Point Park at Youngstown State Wednesday night. No TV or live stream of this one, so we want to show you as many Point Park highlights on offense and defense as we can. Here we go. The Pioneers starting lineup. They're ready. They're not going to back down against their Division I opponent in Youngstown State. Early on, Doug Alves gets the Pioneers on the board, gets the screen, and knocks down the three. He had two of those in the first half. Pioneers on D now. They give up the offensive rebound, but Singh Jawar is there to reject it. He can test this putback, taps it over to Shockley for the rebound, and the Pioneers go the other way. They're going to get it into Garrett McHenry in the post. He's double teamed off the glass. He misses, but Jags, Singh Jawar, Point Park, seven-footer, there for the rebound. The Pioneers up 5-2. to two. More defense for Point Park. They dug in and uh, only allowed 30% field goals in the first half, 34% for the game. Some good D in this one for the Pioneers. They force a corner three, and they're going to battle and clear the rebound with Singh Jawar and Alves coming away with it. More defense. Shockley and Singh Jawar reject that one on the combo. Alves goes the other way into the corner for McHenry. He goes to work and kicks it out to Jawan Willis, who had nine points, one of his two triples in the first half. Three on the night for him. The Pioneers are up 8-4. to four with under 15 to go. Uh, Youngstown State is going to miss the corner three again. Callaway with the rebound. Works it up, and he's going to miss this three, but Eddie Floor there for the rebound. He battles against the trees and banks it in. Point Park up 10-6 to six at the under-12 media timeout of the first half. After the break... They go right back to work. Farrow in the post. Gets it over to Shockley. Swings it over to Doug Alves on the wing. His second three of the half. Point Park up 13-8. to eight. Point Park still hanging in. Youngstown State didn't lead until in the later part of the first half. They found a rhythm here. Garrett Covington drives for two. Point Park still up, though, until this point where Youngstown State finally ties it up at 13-13 on that corner three. Youngstown up one. Point Park, a last chance before the half. McHenry shot, rims out the second one too late. Youngstown State manages a 26-25 lead at the half. Point Park held the, uh, the Penguins to 30% from the field and survived 12 first-half turnovers. Second half we go. Youngstown State goes to work. Michael Acucci underneath to give the Penguins a 10-point lead. Point Park trying to hang in. And they break the press, and Juwan Willis gets it to the elbow, pump fakes, and a nice underneath look to Garrett McHenry for two. Point Park uh, keeping it under 10, but the eight-point lead goes to 11 with Shamar Rathon Mays hitting the three. Shockley gets the block as Point Park tries to hang in with the defense here. And Eddie Floor as well, a hustle play, doesn't get it, but gets a nice little tap there from Athletic Director John Ashelou. Point Park trying to deal with the press. They get it over. Alves working on the wing. Pulls it out into Farrow in the post. And he will find Shockley for two. Point Park stays within 10. Next possession, Eddie Floor finds R.J. Farrow. Banks it off the window for two of his 10 points. He led the Pioneers off the bench. As the only player in double figures, Point Park still staying within 10. At the under-12 media timeout, we skip ahead to the under-8 media timeout. Point Park still within 9. 51-42 is 7.30 to go. Do or die time for the Pioneers. Youngstown State trying to stretch things out, and they do with Shamar Rathon Mays. He had 17 and three trays. The lead goes back to double digits, and Point Park had trouble with the press. Uh, 28 turnovers on the night, 46 points for the, the Penguins in the second half. 25 of them were off of turnovers, including this. Will Dunn, the 6'8 big man, glides in for two as part of a 9-0 run. It took that 9-0 lead out to 18, 60-42. Point Park does break the press here. Cameron Shockley on the nice catch. It goes in for the two-handed dunk, takes a hard fall. And Point Park's hanging in. He's up. He's all right. They're not going to go down without a fight, down 60-42 to 42 with 5.12 to go. And Shockley has the N1 coming up, trying to complete the three-point play. And he does. Point Park within 15, still having a chance. They're going to look in 
Stowe gets it into R.J. Farrow, working against the 6'8 freshman, showing him a thing or two. Misses the, at first, gets his own rebound, puts it up off the window. And here's Jordan Stowe going to drive in. He misses, but Garrett McHenry there for one of his 13 rebounds and two points. Point Park down 64-49, a little over two to go. Youngstown State, though, with the knockout punch here is Shamar Rathon Mays again for a three. Stretching it out in the latter moments. Before the end of it, we have Jordan Stowe hitting from three. Point Park is up to 52 points. But in the end, too many turnovers for Point Park as the Penguins are going to dribble this one out with under a minute to go. 28-8 was the story in turnovers. Point Park loses 72-52 against another Division I opponent. Point Park won the rebounding 42-40. to They outshot the Penguins 37% to 34%, but turnovers costly. Farrow 10, Willis 9, Alves 8, Stowe 8, and McHenry those 13 rebounds.